it's your girl Mimi Moments. What up, what up, Mimi Moments. I really need like an opening and closing tagline. Like if you guys can think of anything creative, please let me know. Slide in my DMs and you know, put me on or whatever. Um, today I'm here to talk all about this hair. Um, I love this fro and so does everyone that I know. It's just like one of the best moves I ever made. People stop me in the street and give me compliments all the time. And the fact that it's purple. I don't know if you guys can see it in this light. That it is purple. Can you see that? It's a mixture of black and purple. Just makes it even so much more dope, dope, dope. And then thanks to the help of YouTube, I cut it into the right shape to fit my face and I love it the hair is soft and fluffy and pretty but I want to put you guys on so you can do the same thing because sharing is caring isn't it is it okay if I sit like this is it like not professional because I kind of I feel like this is cool like we're just chilling like we're just talking this is Q by Milky Way human hair master mix shortcut series in the style OPR Cosmo I hope you can see this clearly it comes in it comes in through packs of three just like this so this is how the hair looks in the pack and it comes in p three pieces and I think these are what 12 inches I bought two colors I bought one B and then I also bought the one that is has purple on the ends of it because I wanted it to look like low-key like mixed in there like ombre kind of thing I didn't want my whole thing to be purple but I wanted it to look as natural as possible because my actual natural hair is dyed purple right now so a lot of people really believe that I go from like my natural hair to this which is awesome I love it I ain't gonna correct you whatever so yeah this is how the hair looks in the package let me take it out the net so you guys can let me tell you guys this hair is like super affordable i think it was like 12 13 dollars a pack and i bought three packs i really didn't need it but like for fullness and in case you know as you're this is synthetic so as you're like cutting pieces off or whatever you can um refill it with more hair like look at this it's super pretty it's a little bit shiny but it the shininess goes away really quickly especially as you comb it out look how pretty this is it's super soft like it's really really believable and then the more you obviously with synthetic hair the more you wear it the more natural it looks but then the more you comb it out and break it up like the more afro-ish it looks like it's just awesome like I love this now I didn't sew this onto my head because like who am I kidding like I'm not about that life anymore I sewed this onto a I didn't even sew it I used the hot glue gun method. I burned myself so many times, guys. Please be careful with the hot glue. But I hot glued the hair onto a dome cap. Then I plopped it on my head, grabbed the front, cut the bang, started grabbing the hair, like holding it downward and cutting upwards to get like this like round shape. And then I kind of just like with my hands, I flattened it out at the top to get that like Solange nose kind of look. And it doesn't really mat on me because, again, I don't sleep with this on my head. As soon as I get off, I um, get inside, I have a hook. I just hang it on my hook. I ain't got no bay, so it don't matter anyway. And if I did, take me as I am. So what if I take my wig off? I'm still cute. Take me as I am. So don't let any, don't let a man be the reason why you're not using this protective style, okay? It is a protective style. It keeps me from damaging and straightening and touching and manipulating my hair all the time. So wig life, okay? Full life. All right. Anyways, I went in, right? I'll be in my face. So yeah, you can get this at your local beauty supply store. If I can find somewhere for it to, um, that you can buy it online, I would definitely put the links down below. Um, I will also put a video down, link down below for the video that I watched to help me um, make the wig. And then also Peak Mills video. The Peak Mills video was the one that helped me make the wig. And Jessica Petway, who's like the wig master, she's the one that I watched to help me with like the styling and the cutting of my wig that's why it's like more tapered in the bottom and it's like rounder here and then my bangs are like on point or whatever you know i be feeling like solange knows in this like i used to know i never used to be able to handle big hair but i freaking love this um if you have any questions please leave them down below if you have any comments do you like the purple 
Thank you if you do. Thank you if you don't. Um, if you want to see more wig or weave or hair stuff on this channel, please like this video and let me know down below. I appreciate you for coming back. Um, still thinking of an ending for this, so for now I'm going to just say I love you all for watching me and supporting me. And thank you and goodbye. I'm going to stop rambling. Guys really be trying to come at girls for what we decide to do with our hair. Like, do you do my hair in the morning? Can you comb this hair? No. You can barely put my hair up in a ponytail if you tried. You couldn't put it in a low bun. So, hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Okay? Go out of here, man.